around of Uncle math tutorial. Now, we are still on the series of fractions, and today we'll be diving into addition and subtraction of fractions. So let's go in. Now, on the addition and subtraction of fractions, we have two parts for it. The first part is adding fractions with the same denominator. And the second part is adding fractions with different denominators. So let's go straight into fractions with the same denominator. Now, what I'll simply do here is I'm going to write out the common denominator that we have here, which is 5. And the next thing I'm going to do is simply add the numerators. 1 plus 3. And 1 plus 3 is going to give us what? 4 out of 5. So that means that addition of 1 fifth to 3 fifth is going to give me what? 4 fifths. So that is the basic of adding fractions with the same denominator. Same thing applies here. If I want to subtract fractions with the same denominator, I have to do the same thing. It's the same approach. I'll write out their common denominator, which is 3. Then I'm going to subtract the numerator. 13 minus 10. And that is going to give me what? 3 over 3. If you reduce it, it's going to give us 1. So that is it. There is no much work here. Now let's go straight into fractions with different denominator. 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. Both fractions do not have the same denominator. So what are we going to do? First, before we can be able to solve all these fractions together, you have to find a common multiple. We call it the lowest common multiple of these two fractions. So how do you find the lowest common multiple? Well, a simple way to do that is just to draw a table like this. Put the denominators here. Then what number can divide any one of them? We have 3. So 3 cannot divide 5, so we'll bring down 5. But 3 can divide 3, we have 1. Okay? Then the next number I'm going to put here is 5. The goal is to make sure that the number, that you just have 1, 1. Once you get to 1, 1 after dividing, then you're done. So 5 divided 5 is 1, then I bring down this 1. Then what is now the LCM of these two numbers? It is 3 times 5. And that will give us the word A, 15. So the lowest common multiple that 5 and 3 have in common is 15. So I'm going to use 15 as the denominators, common denominators that you're going to have now. And you see the approach. So I'm going to write my 15 here. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the denominator. Uh, the denominator of this one will divide this. More like saying 15 divided by 5. And that is going to give us 3. Then multiply it to the numerator. 15 divided by 5 times 2. Well, 15 divided by 5 is going to give us 3. 3 times 2 is going to give us what? 6. So instead of writing 2 here, I'm going to write 6. Why? Because I now have a common LCM that both of them have in common. We call it the lowest common multiple. Okay? Then I'm going to do the same thing here. 15 divided by 3 is going to give us 5. Then 5 times 1 is going to give us what? 5. So instead of writing 1 here, I'm going to write 5. So the next thing to do is to add them together. 6 plus 5 is going to give us what? 11. And we have 11 over 15. Now, this is the way you solve fractions with denom different denominators. First, you have to find the lowest common multiple that the two fractions or three fractions in uh, another case, three fractions may have in common. And after finding the LCM, then you add them. Another example, you might have 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4 plus 2 over 7. Now, this is a combination of three fractions, and we have to add them together. It's the same approach. Because they have different, different denominators, we just have to find their LCM, which is LCM of 3, 4, and 7. Now, we use a set of prime numbers to divide them through, or prime factors. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Prime factors. So, we use 2 first. 2 can divide one of the numbers here. The rest of the numbers will bring it down. 2 divided 4 is 2, bring down 7. Well, 2 can still divide another number here. Bring this 3 down. 2 divided 2 is 1, and bring down 7. What else can divide? 3, which is the next prime number here. We have 3. 3 divided 3 is 1, bring down 1 again. Then the next number is 5. But 5 can't divide 7 of this remaining 
here. So we go back to 7. 7 divided 7 is 1. So once we get to 1, 1, 1, we know that what? We are done finding the LCM. The next thing is to multiply it together. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. 2 times 3 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 times 7 is 84. Okay? So we have that the LCM is now 84. So 84 divided by 3, just like I said in when we are solving this. 84 divided by 3, well, it's going to give us what? I think it's going to give us 28. So 28 times 2 is going to give us what? 56. Okay? And 84 divided by 4 is going to give us 21. 21 times 1 is going to give us 21. Plus 84 divided by 7 is going to give us 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So when you add these two, 21 plus 24 is going to give us 45. Then 45 plus 56 is going to give us 101 over 84. So this is the solution for adding fractions with different denominators. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.